And welcome back to Let's Play Armor Core Nexus. It's me, 249. And uh, I just, last episode, I failed a mission and tried it again and won it the second time. And uh, now I'm going to start off with a good old fashioned arena battle. So I'm fighting, I'm using the Panosticator to fight Brainwash, who's supposed to be a highly mobile. AC with a sniper rifle and reverse joint legs. I don't know if I, my current AC is going to be a good match for this guy. He's probably going to be jumping all over the place. He's probably going to be a huge pain in my butt. I just hope I don't run out of ammo. Oh, no, he's slow. He's slow and he sucks. This is going to be this very short. He's using decoys up the butt, but I don't use missiles really, except for my left hand missile, so. Wow, that was incredibly easy. Really, really easy. The only problem with my current AC is that just boosting around is enough to cause it to overheat. That's not really something I would like for it to happen. So, maybe... Maybe I can try to figure out something. I just really like this booster part because it's highly maneuverable and relatively low energy drain, but... Anyway, oh, and by the way, I broke up and I broke into the top ten ranked ravens in this game, you know, within the game universe. So that's good. So just a bunch of stuff. Apparently, Crest is using one of its star ACs in the upcoming battle. It's really taking this stuff seriously. It's always good to know. A new AC performance test. What is this? Fighting some kind of experimental AC. Eh, why not? I've never heard of um, ACs kind of being pre-built. This is some kind of experimental, like, all-in-one AC. So you can see it's got some kind of... Looks like it has special parts you can't really get. Oh man, this is really close range. I hope it doesn't, like, come out, come out swinging. I was just gonna... Oh, this is... I think this is, like, the new... I think the final boss is some kind of, um... Like, version of this. If I remember correctly. I think it's like a lot more powerful like so yeah as I was saying mentioning earlier wow that was a really short test anyway as I was saying earlier this AC's heat is enough to cause it to overheat just in a matter of seconds like as you saw there it's more like moments but luckily the experimental AC was pretty wimpy so didn't really present a challenge But I always get so nervous with these experimental things because I'm always expecting a curveball. Like they'll be launching some kind of ultimate weapon at me and I'm just going to be like, uh, derp. Please don't kill me. But luckily, it was just a very small test. So finally, wait, I thought Mirage was preparing to attack Bailed City. Why is Crest attacking? Huh. Oh, Navi's controlled Bailed City and now Crest attacked it and backstabbed Navi's and yeah, okay. No surprises there. Crest is always backstabbing people. So I have two, looks like I can destroy the Crest AC and help Mirage get one close, one step closer to victory. Or I can safeguard a uh, Navi's escape route. So I can, two things I can do, I can either I hate defense missions, I really do. But I do like killing ACs. I guess that makes up the decision for me. I just have to, oh, it's like an arena battle that has significance, or that carries significance towards the plot. Interesting. 
Well, as much as I'd love to use the Panosticator, uh, I probably shouldn't, just because it's too unstable. I should probably use this guy. Jig says, I know exactly what I'm in for when I use him. Let me just do a few quick customizations. Alright. Prepare to die, Crest Exclusive AC. Your days are numbered. So this is going to be Red Star, the exclusive AC for Crest that was mentioned in the mail earlier. Hopefully this won't present too much of a problem. I have faith in Rubber Robobot and my piloting skills. Mission target sighted. There he is. Hey, that guy's build isn't too dissimilar from it's my, uh... It's a trap. <laughs> it's a trap. So, they chose you. Wait, he's... They've got a... A grenade launcher on that Fine, thing. Unless it has up intensify, it's future. not gonna be able to launch it. Oh, whatever. Let's just get this over with. Destroy the oh, yep, yeah, it does. It has op intensify. Wow, that was extremely easy. Even with up intensify on that thing, I killed it mostly with micro missiles. And yeah, it got me down to around 6,000 AP, but like I'm used to tough fights getting me down to way further, like 3,000 or 2,000. That wasn't even close. I thought this was supposed to be one of Crest Star performers. Well, whatever. Nexus is weird. Armored Core Nexus, I mean by that. Like, the difficulty jumps all over the place. Sometimes it's like freaking impossible. Sometimes it's unexpectedly easy. But, uh, overall, it's still quite a fun game that I enjoy playing. Yeah, they're only good because they had a special bonus part that allowed them to fire a, uh, a grenade launcher with a lightweight biped. So I just got a set of boosters that work as a backpack part, or a back part, I believe. The one problem... Oh, I don't actually have to choose. I can do both. Anyway, the one problem with those back boosters is that it creates so much heat and energy drain that using them is completely impractical. I hate defense missions so much. But whatever, I guess I have to do it. It's the only mission available right now. This will be the last mission of this video. And then you'll have to wait for next time. But yeah, so I... I just... I hate defense missions because I always feel like I get so caught up trying to engage the enemy that before I know it, I turn around and everyone I was trying to defend is in a burning pile of rubble. It's so obnoxious. Oh, it's a freaking sniper MT. I did not pick a long range AC. I think I remember doing this mission once and I ended up doing really poorly because it took me so long to get within striking range of the sniper enemies. And look. I just start the mission and I'm already at a, dis at a disadvantage. Oh wait, that was really strange. Well, why would you die? Come on. Raven, protect the convoy. I'm trying. It's not easy. Yeah, 
Yeah, those micro missiles pack a punch, don't they? Is there anyone else trying to kill him? Oh, there's that guy over there. What are you doing? He's just look at him just casually walking around. He's like, yeah, what's no up? Well, I think I did pretty Air bad, but it could have been worse. Without me here, they would have been wiped out for sure. System switched to normal mode. You're welcome, OAE or Nafis or whoever I was protecting there. Wait, I didn't even read the mission prompt. Was I protecting the Navis as they escaped under the assistance of OAE? I thought the Navis withdrew from the OAE. Well, I guess the OAE isn't completely unsympathetic. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, join me next time for the next set of missions in Armored Core Nexus.